My name is Leah and I'm a YouTuber and Instagrammer and student. I started on YouTube itself and I liked creating videos. I posted a curly hair routine which kind of like kickstarted my channel. At the time there weren't people who were natural hair influencers. It became a job when I found out that you could make profit off it and I was like, oh well I love doing this, might as well. I'm Joyce. I am a freelance model and Instagram influencer. One of my guy friends were like, hey, can I take a photo of you? But we took one shot, I posted it on my Instagram for the first time. I don't know how, but a photographer saw it and he reached out to me and he was like, hey, come in for a shoot. So I went and once he posted, everything just kind of escalated from there. I knew I wanted to get into the fashion industry. I just didn't think it would be like my dream job as an influencer. I feel like this year I started to open up more about like my, my struggles because they were affecting me in a way where I just couldn't like film unless I was like fully happy. Like there would be like, I filmed for so like for like about a couple months. I would, I was just like in like this weird like depressive state where, but I still had to do my job. I still had to get on camera, look nice like this. And, and then like, I don't know, just pretend like everything was fine. And I got really tired of that. And instead of like not posting, I realized like maybe I should just talk about it. Yeah. And people are very supportive. I have I have those days and then I have other days where it's like, oh, today I'm like in Miami with this brand and then oh shit, I have a test tomorrow. What the yeah. hell? It's hard because you always see people on Instagram showing their best self. You're like, okay, like I aspire to be that, but mm -hmm. there's no way because it's not yeah. real. It is pretty inclusive for all right, we're gonna be real. For yeah, lighter real. skin Asians. Yeah. Um, Just like lighter this, skin in general. Yeah, I think to be more inclusive this year, I feel like everything's just been pushed to another level for social. It's definitely getting better, Yeah, of course. It's because people are better. being more vocal about mm -hmm. it and really pushing for action on the things that they wanna see change in, which is great. I think even in the fashion like influencer side, collaborations, it's mainly white girls. Mm -hmm. It's very saturated with that. And I do see a lot of Asian influencers, but they are also light Asians. Mm -hmm. There's not as much like darker skin tones. There are some, but obviously not enough to where you're like, yeah. oh, like we all feel included. I would say go in for it for the passion and not for the wealth. Because if you're passionate about it, you're gonna make a profit off of it eventually. If you know who you are, yourself and you know you're still growing into the person that you're becoming it's less impactful like the negative sides of social media mm -hmm. Dang, so that really sweats me just now <laughs> my heart was like <laughs> literally <laughs> but that is what i think yes